your USD pumped in towards the upside, grabbing buy side liquidity above this swing high and above this swing high as well. So we're now potentially looking for some shorts within the market. But we should understand that the market is still bullish and therefore we could still look for longs. What's up, guys? Good morning. Fabio here. And let's dive into your USD. So starting off here on the four hour time frame, we all know that the market has been continuously bullish in towards the upside. And we have now grabbed liquidity above that daily swing high. So we could therefore look for those potential shorts. But we have to understand that the market is still bullish and that this four hour fractal low is still being respected and we still have demand over here. So I am happy to look for a potential short in towards the downside. That's not the problem from grabbing buy side liquidity over here on the daily time frame. But we should understand that we still have bullish order flow on the four hour time frame. So a 50 minute short is not going to be stronger than a four hour long, right? Because the four hour time frame will always be stronger than the 15 minute time frame. Okay. So understand that obviously we could still just push in towards the downside. I'm saying, or I'm not saying that that could not happen, but we should understand that the four hour order flow will always be stronger. So I'm now looking at the 15 minute time frame for today, guys, and just diving in towards the 15, what can we see here? So the 15 minute time frame at the moment is bullish with a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, and then somewhere over here, potentially a new higher low. What I'm looking for today is to see a potential push one more time in towards the downside, as long as this overall internal structure here is respected. As we can clearly see, lower high, lower low. Therefore, I marked out this area of supply from where we could look for a potential short. So longs are gonna be taken inside of this area of four hour demand, okay? That is, let's say, just the aim of the game. For now, what I'm looking for is a potential short inside of this area of supply back down in towards that four hour area of demand, okay? That for today is the game plan, however, and but we, we should keep in consideration that we have this euro news here on um, yeah on the euro red folder news i think it's in around 15 minutes or 25 minutes so just keep in mind a lot of red folder news which could kind of yeah let's say cause some uh, massive wicks once again as you guys know uh, but therefore i am looking to see okay can we just get this and then inside of here inside of these imbalance candles i'll then see what the market does maybe we just continue bearish or we see a 15 minute trend shift what i'm doing is i'm using the 15 minute to guide me if we are ready to start breaking structures okay so as long as this 15 minute internal structure over here remains bearish and we just let's say for example push in towards here then we push back down i will just keep on expecting for the downside however if inside of this four hour area of demand we see a structural shift over here, and we get another IBOS as I've been showing you here, then I will look for a long in towards the upside, okay? So the long should be taken over here, and then the potential short should be taken outside of that four hour area of supply, meaning you could look for a short inside here, but I will be looking for confirmation, okay? So in the sense that if we come in towards that 15 minute area of supply, I wanna see like a change of character and then confirmation that we can start selling off in towards the downside. So that's the game plan for your USD. Um, with that said, let's head over to the dollar index. So the dollar index here on the daily time frame, what has it done? So it has pretty much broken this area of demand, but you could also just consider this entire, let's say, last sell for the buy candle, your demand zone. And we're currently just stuck inside there. We've seen a massive overextended leg in towards the downside, pretty much a one, a two, a three, a four, and then a five. So now I'm actually looking for kind of like a correction back in towards the upside. Um, that is just what I'm looking for at the moment. We could still just make a little bit of a lower sweep, to be honest, below, for example, this daily low uh, and just grab liquidity below that. And then, for example, reversing towards the upside. How do we know that a potential reversal is incoming? Well, obviously, we look at for our change of characters guys so for our order flow should shift if we break this area of four hour supply um, then i'll be much more confident that we could start seeing a pullback back in towards this for example daily area of a supply over here okay and then it'll be much higher probability to look for those shorts on AUD USD, NCD USD, euro usd as well um, so that's that on uh, the dollar index now let's go into AUD usd because that has a potential short on our hands okay so um as you guys know, let's just start on the daily. On the daily here, we're inside, let's say, this supply zone, okay? Um, then going in towards the four-hour time frame, and for the rest, guys, the daily is also bearish. This is your swing high. This is your swing low. So we know daily is bearish. Then we go in towards the four-hour time frame. So what are we seeing here on the four-hour time frame? We're seeing overextended moves in towards the highs, okay? So what I'm now looking for is potential to um, see a short. 
So what I now want to see is a short in towards the downside. Um, and after this four hour change of character, see if we can get continuation. So what happened over here after grabbing, let's say this buy side liquidity over here above this obvious swing high, what I'm now looking for to see is, okay, we get that change of character high here. Let's just zoom in candle for candle. What you're ultimately just seeing is the push up, a push back down, a push back up, push back down over here, push back up. It was a little bit rangy, but now we actually broke this fractal low over here, meaning that this is now your fractal high. So the high of this hammer candle is now your fractal high, and that is also where your supply lies, okay? So we should now move and sell off in towards the downside. That is what I'm now looking for. So just remember, as long as this four hour fractal high holds over here, we should continue down in towards the downside. Um, the only thing I don't like is that we didn't get a candle close below the fractal low over here. And that often is an indication uh, that this is, let's say, a stronger area of supply uh, with more momentum. But going in towards the 15, what you can then see is that we have a very clear area of supply over here. So this area of supply on the 15 minute time frame um, is now acting as your supply zone. We broke, let's say, structure here. This was the structural low. Um, so we saw a structural shift yeah, on the 15. So push down, push back up, push back down, pull back. So now what we could do is look for that potential short uh, yeah, from this supply zone further in towards the downside in line with the four hour. If you want more confirmation, because obviously there's a lot of potential for the four, four hour, uh, excuse me, to fall down lower, just take it on the four hour low break uh, of the fractal structure. And then for example, place your stop loss like this and then let's just target, for example, this, okay? If you just want that um, additional confirmation and then you trade it back down in towards daily demand. Go in towards NZD USD. Uh, I'm going to do pound dollar in a second. NZD USD is very similar to Aussie dollar, uh, looking for uh, that potential short. But I'm only actually looking for a short uh, if we break this fractal low over here. Okay, so this fractal high over here got broken by this fractal low. So I'm now just waiting for the fractal low to go, and then I'll be looking for short. Otherwise, we could just continue up higher. As simple as that. Not going to make it more complicated. Uh, you guys know what we're looking for. We're daily supply, daily buy side liquidity. Now we just need the four hour to shift as well. Pound dollar. So pound dollar over here on the four hour and the daily. Uh, I think on the daily time frame we could still uh, move and just take out this daily high over here. Okay. Um, just keep that in mind. Uh, that is what I'm looking at at the moment. Maybe one more push up. Go in towards the 15. What I'm now looking for actually is to see if the market can break uh, this high over here and just continue back up a little bit higher. Um, if it does break this high, I do think we're gonna see a push up higher. There's still liquidity above this high, but especially because we also have still some supply over here. Um, something like that is what I would be looking for on pound dollar, a little bit different to the other pairs. Um, also fractal structure is very different with the fractal low being all the way down here. So no focus on that. And then last of all gold, what are we seeing there? <laughs> So gold is just ranging at the moment, uh, not spending too much time on it. As we can see, we're just moving sideways inside of this box. So main focus on those major dollar pairs. Uh, that was it for today, guys. Thanks and see you tomorrow.